Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all you new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. For sure. All right, um, I got that 40 Evinrude all wrapped up and uh, added the electric start and I sold it today. The new owner will be in tomorrow with some some muscle to uh, load it into a truck. But uh, I gave it a good test run for him and all, and he purchased that one, so it's out of here. But I've got another victim. I got another victim. So let's look at it. There it is. Little Johnson 30 that he says will start and run. And he says it actually runs good, but he said it won't run unless he keeps the primer pulled half out. Um, so, right off the bat. What am I seeing? Why is that? Yeah, that's all hooked up right on. Um, plastic top carburetor, not the best in the world. Sometimes these leak. Well, now what I'm thinking, this guy's in a hurry. He, he uh, is hoping to leave town tomorrow and if I remember right, I have another carburetor off of that 2004 that I already cleaned up and everything. So depending on how this thing runs, I may just swap this carburetor out, take care of this one later. But I'm going to go ahead and get it in the tank. Um, because of what he said, I'm going to take a chance that that's what it is. Kill switch, ring. neutral. <laughs> yes, sir. look at that motor mount, it's not the best. Turn on the suck noise box. Somewhere in there. 
Look at all the, the smoke that's coming up in the pan. pretty big schnoz on me. You got to use something wasn't right. There was too much smoke coming up in this engine. The power head is literally falling off of this motor. See them power head bolts? See that gap in there? See that gap in there? Every one of them. Falling out, falling out. <laughs> the power head's falling off. That's why she's smoking so much. Interesting. I'm trying. I'm. Th I'm trying to. I'm, th I'm thinking out loud here. I'm trying to think. Have I ever seen one come in here with the power head falling off? Huh? Can't. Can't recall one. I'll be darned. Well, I guess it's uh, time to tighten up some power head bolts, and I think I'll put a little Loctite on them.
we better look at those inside nuts and so forth. have a special wrench that I made for these inside nuts down in there. Anyway, there's two nuts up under here that we gotta get to. I feel real loose. So what I believe has happened here is that bottom motor mount is broke. That caused a bunch of vibration and shaking. And uh, the power head came loose. The only thing that was really holding it on was the two inside nuts. There's two studs in there, one on each side. And those stayed tight. That's that's all. But I think it. I don't know what's going on as far as what's up under that power head. But it shouldn't be. I, some of this smoke is from my tank. Even with the sucker on, this is a small tank, so it gets a lot of exhaust in it. Out on the open water, it, it may run all right with just this. 
but it needs that motor mount broke so I'm gonna have to call the owner I think see what he says do but if they must use it they could run it with the bonnet off and, and, and I'm sure even the, with the broken motor mount and it would probably do just fine do you like them cool things there boys and girls well I got some I wanted to show you a couple cool cutie little cutie hope gas tanks that I uh, came upon I got one beside a dumpster that somebody was kind enough to leave there and another one a friend of mine brought to me and I think he said he got it from a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend but anyway they're both cool but I need your help the first one I want to show you is this does it look familiar like a boat but what's neat about it is the way you carry it. You carry it like that. So you got the cap and a hose connector up top. So you can walk along with it like your suitcase, you know. And as long as you only got it filled about there, you don't have to worry about nothing leaking out. But it's real cool. It's boat shaped. And this is made by Gott. Now, I don't know that they're still around, but uh, they may be. But I remember Gott stuff when I would see old construction trucks, you know, alongside the road. You're going down the road and you see the telephone workers or the construction guys and stuff working on the the power lines or the roads or whatever and on the back of the trucks in that hot sun they'd be working out in you'd see this big yellow cooler normally with a red top where they could go up and get themselves a nice cold drink of water and they'd have ice in them big old yellow coolers and I remember it would say got on it and if I remember right they even made them metal gray metal ones that said got but that's how I remember it. And this one is 22.8 lead tires, liters, or six gallons. But it's just a cool old boat gas tank. It's uh, got a nice shape. And I don't see any cracks or anything in it anywhere. Just nice. And now the next one. There's some juju in there. This is the old kiki hiffy 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 hyper. Kai fi fi kai fi 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 indicator in there on how much gas you got in it it's actually glass it's got some brass piping with the old style mercury I'm letting a helicopter go by that mean Coast Guard you know you understand so but it's got the green top to it this is all supposed to be painted green, and I'm going to paint this and fix it all up. I uh, don't know if I'll be able to get these original decals, but I'll, I'll do it up as best I can. But it is six and one half gallons. But here's where the, the problem lies, where I need your help. I don't know how to open this. Now, it's got a little white powdery yuck on it here and there and, and stuff. But this end is hinged. And then there's a brass screw that I tried to get out right there, but I started kind of boogering it up, so I stopped. I'm going to put some penetrating oil and stuff on it. 
but it's hinged here and then it looks like it lifts up but one of you fine folks out there have one of these and can tell me how it's supposed to open but it's got real nice brass plumbing and uh, these real nice sharp points and I think it just lifts up and so this pins probably all froze so I'm gonna hose it down good with penetrating oil but both of these are really cool old just neat looking boat gas tanks and you might remember on my welded aluminum aluminum skiff I run a classic fitty mercury so this will be very appropriate and then once I get it all cleaned up and painted up what I want to do is come around the bottom I think with some kind of rubber some kind of rubber gasket or you know just some kind of rubber to help it but I think it's going to be nice and clean inside um, so I'll hose her down good with pen and trick get her open but if anybody knows the proper way to open this and like I said it might just be it might come straight up or maybe you gotta I don't you can't twist because it's got a hinge pin there I thought at first it, it probably went pushed down and turned and then I was looking at it and I don't think it can do that because it's got a hinge pin so here's a close-up you can see up under here this is a vent it's a vent valve I think so there's a close-up of it and you can see that hinge right there So, half the pull up on trigger, then a word's missing, and something to go down. Do not prime, do not push down on trigger. Winners. It says if you push down on trigger, to do will damage regulator mechanism. Well, somebody out there's got one. I don't know how it works. Let me know. I just thought I'd show you folks a beautiful Kodiak evening. There's a bald eagle. There's a beautiful horizon. There's a saner, salmon saner coming in. Snow cap mountains off in the distance. Nice calm bay. Really pretty out. Especially the uh, horizon out there. It's got some little bit of reddish pink hues to it. You can see Woody Island right past the boat there. And that's Long Island way out there. Just a pretty evening. Well now. 
sometimes that's how it goes. I called the owner on this 30 Johnson, told him what I found, that the power head was coming off, and uh, best I can figure is it did a little damage to the exhaust portion of the power head um, to leg gasket there. And he really needed the motor. I showed him the broken lower motor mount. I suspect with that broken lower motor mount, and this motor is used in a commercial capacity, I told him that uh, it probably just vibrated with that lower mount broke and the upper mounts were pretty weak anyway. I told him it, it probably just shook, shook so much that the power head bolt started to come loose. So um, the motor seems to run fine other than some smoke coming up in the engine compartment. So I told him for this particular trip they're going on, he's going to use it, he said, about four times to run people to a dock and back out to the big fishing boat. And I said, if you just run it with the bonnet off, if it causes you any problems like trying to choke itself out, it'd probably be fine for this trip. And then uh, in between trips, he'll bring it in here. I'll pull the power head sniff around under there and see if there's more to it than that but I don't think there is because with the bonnet off it runs well and I told him be careful when you use your reverse gear because that's going to pull the engine up onto them weak upper motor mounts and he kind of understood and I went over it with him so it was his call and he's like I need this motor for this trip and I said well run it with the bonnet on first because in my tank even with the sucker fan going, it's still a lot of smoke in there that it, it, it breathes in that tank. If you're out in the open air and you're driving along, it, it may not even bother it. Um, but I told him if it does, just pop the bonnet off, go to the beach, come back. It should be fine. And then, uh, so that was his call and that's what he decided. So, I've already got another little victim in the tank for the next video. And uh, this one's probably getting a little long, so we're going to call it a wrap. And as always, that is one more hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. More vids are coming on the Inside Outboards with your host, 